Hey YouTube, it's the Garage Tinkerer here again. Just wanted to give you an update on a new updated can crusher that I've done. I'm sure you've seen the previous videos that I've posted for my original can crusher, but I've decided to modify it a little bit and make it a steampunk edition. I have had some questions in the past with my videos with for how I have use the storage vessel. I have a fire extinguisher of which the whole can crusher is produced and powered by a refrigerator air compressor. And it works very well and it's incredibly quiet. You can see my, sorry for the bad video and the spider webs, but that's my muffler. Input, air out from the air compressor, goes into the fire extinguisher on that right hand side. Regulated pressure, pressure switch, and then it comes out and it feeds the can crusher. And this is my new can crusher. Steampunk Edition, Franken-Smash. I have two Frankenstein-style switches, of which I have got off Amazon, to one power the compressor and one to power the lights that are on the side. The reason I went with a fridge compressor is because that it's quiet. It's not like a regular rattly air compressor that is incredibly noisy. As you can hear in the background noise, that's all you hear. With the plasma induction All the top part houses are the two switches fire the two plugs at the top. One is for the compressor and lights and each switch is independently wired up. I think it's pretty cool. Five-way press pressure switch. Wait until that charges up. I can get about 20 cans of crushing capacity. Utilize some old motherboard parts that I had laying around. Old stick of ram in there, cut up a motherboard. Processor cooler, even though it's not really, but uh, technically Wi Fi enabled. And Bluetooth compatible, not really, but. I think it turned out incredibly well. I'm very happy with it. And the biggest plus is that it's incredibly quiet. That compressor should shut off shortly. Then I will give you a live demonstration. Best thing about this is I have an automatic The exhaust valve from the pressure switch and the ingoing air compressing the cylinder, of which is a 63 mil by 200 cylinder, will automatically push the can down the chute. And out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't.
I think it turned out quite well. The Franken Crush 2.0 Steampunk Edition Garage Tinkerer Can Crusher. With the size of cylinder that I have on there, I only need 50 pounds of pressure to crush the cans adequately. So it doesn't need to be torqued up to 100 pounds. Any comments below? I encourage them, but this was my first attempt at uh, some steampunk. And I also utilized an awful lot of parts from the old one. Uh, the crusher assembly is still the same as my previous video that I put for the can crusher. So it should be pretty straightforward, but any questions or comments, I welcome them by all means. And I hope to hear from you all soon, so thank you so much, and this is the Garage Tinkerer signing out, waiting for the next available project. Thank you.